Hey guys, going on, Megan here. All right, 20 reasons why the androgen receptor is more important than testosterone. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you're going to hear me mention that androgen status a lot. Um, and really what that refers to is the ratio between your androgen signaling and your anti-androgens. As far as androgen signaling, it's mainly through your androgen receptor. I'm going to try to keep this video very beginner, simple, so that I don't... Uh, scare off the guys who don't like the technical details, but long story short, what are your androgen receptor? A lot of testosterone effects are useless. And again, I have a lot of videos on this, but I'm still being asked about it. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, at the bottom. That's all the things that testosterone can do without the androgen receptor, right? So in this category over here. And at the top are the things that the androgen receptor is mandatory for, right? Like up here and then here. So that's right. So let's get straight to it. Testosterone's effects on uh, your bra ridge, right? That one is mandatory, right? Your androgen receptor is mandatory for testosterone to exert that effect, obviously, during puberty. Uh, testosterone's effects on, you know, giving you larger hands. Men have larger hands than women, and it's mainly through testosterone. That one, again, androgen receptor wins. I'm not going to put it higher because there are some genetic variations that can make it so that you can have larger hands without the androgen receptor, but that one is through the androgen receptor. Next, testosterone's effect on your hand grip strength. You guys should know by now if you watch my videos, one of the best predictors of your net androgen status and testosterone signaling is your hand grip strength, regardless of muscle mass. Obviously, muscle mass is going to add to that, but even if you account for muscle mass, this is still the biggest predictor of your testosterone. Testosterone signaling, that is, not just levels. And that one, again, androgen receptor wins. Again, the reason why it's not higher is because there are some ways where your body can increase your grip strength without the androgen receptor, but the androgen receptor adds to that. Next, you have uh, testosterone's effects on your big-ass traps. You guys know when people hop on steroids, one of the first things that blow up is their traps, mainly because there's a high amount of, you guessed it, androgen receptors there, right, as well as myonuclei and all that stuff. So that one is also through the androgen receptor, right? Next, you have uh, acne, testosterone's effects on acne. Unfortunately, that is also through the androgen receptor. Of course, it's not higher because your body can give you acne through other mechanisms, but it's mainly uh, through the androgen receptor. Uh, man, so far, testosterone's not winning, right? Uh, and by the way, guys, the reason why I have to keep saying testosterone, testosterone, instead of androgen receptor signaling or net androgen status is because of beginners. YouTube and social media is full of beginners. If I say, and the algo uh, rewards titles and content that use, you know, again, high SEO stuff, right? Search engine optimization. So, and I've tested it many times. If I say how to increase your net androgen status, it gets zero views because the algo is like, what the fuck is this, right? And when people see it, they don't click because they don't know what it is. So, whenever I say testosterone, I'm really referring to net androgen status. So, anyway, I have to say this in like every video. It's freaking annoying. But next, testosterone's effects on your 2D to 4D ratio, right? You guys should know based on how sensitive you are to testosterone's effects, especially in the womb, um, you're going to have... Uh, a different 2D to 4D ratio than women. And so sure enough, this one is to the androgen receptor as well, right? In fact, people that are insensitive to the androgen receptor, they have CAIS or partial CIS, do not have that. Um, and in case you were wondering, uh, your 2D to 4D ratio is pretty much the ratio of your index finger compared to your ring finger, right? So your 2D to 4D ratio. Men have a longer fourth digit then a second digit, right? So men have a longer ring finger, on average, of course, uh, you know, than their second digit. All right, next you have, uh, let's see, testosterone effects in your nose. Most people don't even know this, but testosterone increases uh, the size of your nose. That's one of the reasons why men have bigger noses than women, on average, as always. That one is, again, through the androgen receptor. There's obviously some, some genetic variants, some genetic polymorphisms and SNPs that can play a role in that, but... As, as far as sexual dimorphism goes, that's through the androgen receptor. Next, uh, testosterone's effect on speed, right? A lot of people somehow don't know that testosterone's effects on power output and speed, uh, sorry, that the, the sexual differences in power and speed are mediated through testosterone. Yes, testosterone increases jumping ability, power, speed, and all those things. And that one is also through the androgen receptor. I'm not going to put it higher simply because there's other ways uh, where your body can increase 
power and speed without the androgen receptor, right? For example, adrenaline signaling and some other uh, fast twitch, you know, polymorphisms. But again, testosterone and the androgen receptor affect uh, muscle fiber composition. Next, we have uh, feminizing, uh, sorry, masculinizing the face. A lot of people don't know this, but this is at the very top. The androgen receptor is what masculinizes your face. How do we know this? Because people that have mutations where their uh, their androgen receptors don't work actually come out with a female face. Not a feminized face, a female face, literally a woman. Um, I know it's crazy. Uh, so if you if you have that syndrome, I feel bad for you. And it's about to get worse. Keep watching. It's about to get worse. Uh, next, testosterone's effects on your jawline, giving man that square jawline. That is also through the androgen receptor. Um, so without the androgen receptor, you're not getting any of these effects. Next, uh, testicle size. Well, that one, I'm going to put this one here. Testosterone wins. You do not need the androgen receptor to have bigger testicles. Uh, next, uh, testosterone's effects on strength. Again, highly, highly upregulated by the androgen receptor. Obviously above baseline. Um, next, you have testosterone's effects on the length of your arms. Men have longer arms than women, even with same genetics. That is also through the androgen receptor. Androgen receptor signaling, counteracting a lot of the effects of estradiol, the main estrogen. Next, we have testosterone's effects on jumping ability. Once again, through the androgen receptor. Next, testosterone's effects on giving you bigger shoulders. Once again, through the androgen receptor. Testosterone's effects on giving you larger feet. Men have bigger feet than women. That is through the androgen receptor. Testosterone's effects on giving you a wide, uh, you know, on increasing your shoulder width, right? Wider clavicles. That one is also through the androgen receptor. Next, you have testosterone's effects on, wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, on longer legs, giving men longer legs than women. That is also through androgen receptor signaling, also counteracting a lot of estrogen's effects. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is about to get interesting. Testosterone's effects on making sure you don't have a vagina. I'm being dead serious. This is not a joke. That is, <laughs> it's funny because most people don't know this, but uh, before I even rank this, most people don't know this, but men are actually female in the womb, and it's around the 8th to 10th week that the SOI gene activates and increases, obviously, you know, you know, testi testicles and testosterone comes out from your testes, blah, 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 right? So we actually all women in the womb. It's one of the women, that's one of the reasons why we come out with uh, nipples. Uh, so the default human gender, contrary to what people think, is actually female. It is testosterone, and to be specific, DHT, that masculinizes the body. Again, how do we know this? Because people that have CAIS, complete androgen receptor insensitivity, uh, come out like, like women, and that's coming soon. So that one is, you better think, the androgen receptor, mainly DHT. Uh, next, we have, and obviously I couldn't put a picture of the actual vagina. You know, this video is going to get freaking blocked, so I had to put this. Uh, but that should do the trick. Next, we have testosterone's effects on, and that's what I was referring to, on giving you a male body instead of a female body. So, again, for people who don't know this, without testosterone, to be specific, without the androgen receptor, you develop as a female. This picture that you see here, these are actually two men. No, they're not transgender. They didn't go through a, they didn't go through a section. These are actually two men uh, with a Y chromosome, genetic males, but they have CAIS, right? CAIS is one of the worst things that can happen to a man. It's genetics, so there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so they developed as females until they find out, you know, when they're older that they're not having periods and they can't get pregnant and then they go to the doctor and they find out, holy cow, you know, you're a nigga, <laughs> you're a dude. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what happens when the androgen receptor is not working. Testosterone cannot have its effects without the AR. It can have some effects, but not the masculinizing effects. And therefore, the body continues its development as the default gender of the human race, which is female. So this one at the very top without the androgen receptor and by the way they have normal testosterone levels which is why i keep telling you guys time and time again it's not all about testosterone levels it's about net androgen status these men here have normal testosterone levels in some cases they even have higher testosterone levels than normal because of impaired negative feedback loop blah 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 and yet they develop as women because the androgen receptor is not working so that dht is useless the testosterone is useless all it could do is convert to estradiol Next, testosterone's effects on making sure you don't have breasts. Again, that is also through the androgen receptor at the very top. 
as you can see here in the CIS men, they have breasts. I had to blur it out. You know, they have hips, everything. They look like women. A lot of them go through life without even knowing that they were men. Uh, next, testosterone's effect on penis size. That's at the very top. That is modulated through the androgen receptor, uh, mainly DHT. You know, obviously, if you're born, uh, if you're born with a DHT mutation, right? If you're born with your inability to make DHT, so let's say you have a five alpha reductase mutation, you know, uh, you're gonna end up born with either a micro penis or with a vagina or somewhere in between. And it's usually around puberty when it testosterone, uh, you know, skyrockets that the low DHT gets counteracted by or gets compensated by the high amounts of testosterone. That's the only way testosterone can try to rival DHT is, what, is by mass action, right? So you need a lot of molecules of testosterone to uh, have the same effect as one DHT molecule. So I made a lot of quizzes and posts about that. I showed you guys the study, so you could search that on your own time. Next, we have uh, testosterone effects on bone density. Now, this one, I got to put that at it's a tie, mainly because you also need estrogen, you know, to be specific, estradiol uh, for bone density. You need both testosterone and estrogen. And, of course, DHT does not convert to estrogen. Um, so, so pretty much bone density, to increase bone density, you need both androgen signaling and estradiol signaling, right, estrogen receptor signaling. So I want to put that one at it's a tie. Next, unfortunately, testosterone's effects on hair loss, you know, to be specific, DHT's effects on hair loss are modulated by the androgen receptor. I'm going to put that up here, right? So, and so that's the benefit that those, those men have, the men that have CAIS, is they don't experience androgenic alopecia, at least not to the same extent as regular men. Um, so everyone is blaming DHT for hair loss. I'm like, if you want to be technical, it's not DHT, it's the androgen receptor. Uh, DHT is just more powerful at activating the androgen receptor because, like I always say, it is the super saiyan version of testosterone. Next, you have, uh, uh, yeah, testosterone's effects on just muscle mass in general. Again, that one is mainly ma modulated by the androgen receptor. I'm not going to put it higher simply because there's also, you could have myostatin mutations, phyllostatin uh, mutations, IGF-1 mutations. There's many other ways where your body can give you a lot of muscle without the androgen receptor. But as, as far as being significantly jacked, assuming you have no myostatin mutations, that's going to be through the androgen receptor. Next, testosterone's effects on body hair, right? Giving you a lot of body hair, chest hair, uh, even pubic hair. That is also through the androgen receptor. So as you could clearly see, almost everything that testosterone gets credit for is mainly done by the androgen receptor. The only thing that testosterone can do better, or can do without the androgen receptor, is obviously the by conversion through estrogen, right? In that case, it's uh, acting through the um, through the estrogen receptor, both alpha and beta. But anyway, hope this video helps. Now you see why I'm always saying it's not about testosterone, it's about net androgen status. Testosterone is just what increases net androgen status as long as all else is equal. All right, guys, hope this video is helpful. Uh, join the school community, buy the ebook, support the channel. I'm out of here.